to be here. I am a Native American, not from the reservation. I come from a uh, small fishing village on the Pacific Coast called Los Angeles. <laughs> Born in LA. At birth, I weighed 11 pounds, 5 ounces. The worst part was 11 pound head, 5 ounce body. <laughs> It was a globe on a Q-tip. <laughs> All my baby pictures are like <laughs> But my mom had an easy delivery because I'm adopted. <laughs> my friends always ask me, Mark, were you delivered by C-section? I'm like, no, court order. <laughs> Adopted by a Mexican mother and a Jewish father. I'm a bargain hunter gatherer. <laughs> I didn't find out it was an until I was 25. 25. All those years growing up playing cowboys and Indians, I was suiting up for the wrong team. <laughs> Started researching my Navajo roots. I was all excited because I found out my grandfather. My Navajo grandfather was a medicine man. I'm like, this is awesome. Grandpa's a medicine man. I turned out he's a pharmacist at CBS. Oh. <laughs> People find out your name. They start asking all sorts of questions. I got this the other day after show. Oh, Mark, you're Native American. I bet your children have beautiful, traditional, tribal names. I'm like, uh, yeah, a little big mouth. I brought them to Christmas. <laughs> Native American, can you share some ancient tribal wisdom? I'm not even from the reservation. I just make stuff up. Okay, ancient tribal wisdom. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. <laughs> Felt good to get out of the rain. I actually asked me after show, you mark, is it true? You Navajos in your travels, you're guided by outer voices. Yeah, dude, that's called it. Google navigation system. <laughs> These are a mess of the voices. You can change the voices on your phone and your GPS. Yeah. I get bored. I do that all the time. Right? I put on the British guy the other day. He's all formal. Now entry in the motorway. <laughs> I put on the French guy. He was all pissy. He goes, you want to go to Reno. Where the hell you want to go to Reno? <laughs> they added a Nigerian guy to the GPS voices. This Nigerian dude tripped me out. He was, you would go 3.1 miles. You will make a right turn into your bank parking lot. You will withdraw $7,500 and mail it to my uncle in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> One thing for sure, I'm pretty sure I'm one of the only Indians still losing money in casinos. I suck. <laughs> First of all, we're in Vegas. Free drinks when you gamble in Vegas. Free drinks in a casino. That's like free blindfolds in a rifle range. <laughs> I had so many drinks last night, I went to the roulette table. I tried to buy a vowel. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, what happens in Vegas stays on my credit report. <laughs> <laughs> was out there in Wisconsin. I performed at the Ho-Chunk Tribal Casino, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, I'm now an honorary member of the Ho-Chunk Tribe, because okay. I lost a whole chunk of money. <laughs> <laughs> You see these celebrity slot machines I got now? Celebrity slot machines. There's Michael Jackson slot machine, Elvis Presley slot machine, there's a Britney Spears slot machine. Like, they need a Dr. Phil slot machine. <laughs> Every time you lose, you'd be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Even if you're winning, like, you still got a problem. <laughs> and some of you may not be aware of this, a lot of our Indian casinos actually serve Thanksgiving dinner. I'd be a little careful on that one, white people. That sounds like a little bit of a setup on that one. Yes. We'd be halfway through dinner, like, holy crap, honey, they roofed the turkey gravy again. <laughs> we got the urge to spend all our kids' college money at the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I celebrate the Thanksgiving. While I eat the turkey, I watch the football. Last year on Thanksgiving, uh, my buddy was giving me grief. He's a Cowboys fan. He goes, hey, Mark, the Cowboys beat the Redskins again. I'm like, not at the Indian Casino. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that Redskin owner vows he will never, ever change the name of the Redskins. Yeah. 
Yes. Says he wants yes. to honor Native Americans. Like, sir, really, you want to honor Native Americans? Have a damn winning season, will you please, for God's sake? Yes. <laughs> on the side of the red skin helmet should have a tear coming down his cheek. <laughs> I was really excited. I got to perform uh, last month at the National Indian Gaming Conference. This is a huge gathering where Indian people and white people get together and figure out how to take more money from Asian people. <laughs> Love Asian food. Love Chinese, my favorite Chinese food. I've been to 41 states, nine countries. There's at least 500 people, there's at least two Chinese restaurants. I, I guarantee if you went to the North Pole tonight, we'd find a Panda Polar Express up there. <laughs> but now Chinese restaurants are being co-opted by non-Chinese people. They actually have the chain of Chinese restaurants, no Chinese people. You heard of the PF chains? Yeah. Right, PF chains, that is not authentic Chinese food. They don't even have Mexican cooks. <laughs> And very offensive, that P.F. James. On their menu, signature entree is the Buddha's feast. Really? It's a little insulting to our Buddhist brothers and sisters. I know, as a Christian, I do not want to go to the Outback Steakhouse and see the Lamb of God on the menu. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my Muslim friends don't want to go to the Falafel House and see the a la carte. Just got back to the Middle East. We got to do some shows for the troops who went to uh, Kuwait, Iraq, and Djibouti, Africa. Yeah, I got my first Djibouti call. <laughs> and those troops doing a tremendous job under unbelievable conditions. It's crazy. We have the most powerful military in the history of civilization, but as a people, America, we may have the weakest immune systems of anyone on the planet. <laughs> you see the stuff we suffer from now? Lactose intolerance, gluten intolerance, peanut butter allergies. Who knew nuts with a new anthrax? <laughs> God forbid Al Qaeda or ISIS comes out with a dirty bomb made out of ground cashews, powdered milk, and whole wheat flour. We'll be in deep shit. <laughs> I'd be working on that one right now. Look at the perfect weapon to use against the American infidel. <laughs> I'm listening, Aziz. What is it? The nerve gas shoe bomb guy did missile? No, no, my friend. Fresh baked peanut butter cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat healthier, man. They didn't feed us very well as kids. I grew up in the 1900s. Our four basic food groups like fried, battered, powdered, and dipped. <laughs> We're survivors, man. They feed us crap, we play with crap, they'd hit us with the wrong toys. Anyone else get a wooden spoon every Christmas? They hit us with the wrong toys. We cannot do that to our kids, sir, because number one, CPS. Number two, we're not wasting a perfectly good $300 Xbox. Come on, back in the day, we had no Xbox, we had cardboard box. Like, there was no we, it was just us. There was no ADD either, because we had to play in the street. That'll make you pay attention. <laughs> and you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for coming out.